Well, Mark, a return to winning ways here against Markham. What did you make of the match? I thought it was a good game, actually. Yeah, I, I felt a bit frustrated in the first half that we were only one ahead. Not not because we had lots of good chances. We had one good one with Joey, probably. Um, and then I think the the opportunities to get into the final third were there more often than we exploited and, and I think we could have created more of the possession that we had in the first half and changed the tempo a bit more and backed ourselves a little bit more in the attacking third of the pitch because some of our approach play was good there were moments today where with the ball we were good um, and it's that, that balance between staying on the ball and being patient and not just going forward too early too soon when you play against teams that play with a real counter-attacking threat and drop off that's a new game for us to try and learn and, and be better with the ball and we have to be more patient and people have to be more patient that we've got to be patient um, and, we, and, and we've had that a little bit this week, both games where we've been able to step out with the ball and Lloyd's done it brilliantly and Shez has done it a few times today. The fullbacks gave us a nice attacking threat as well. So quite pleased with our game with the ball um, in certain areas. But any time we played slow and square or flat passes, we got counter-attacked on. We gave them too many opportunities to do that. That was the biggest thing we wanted to try and avoid this afternoon. We didn't do it well enough in the first half. And then um, overall, I think the, the game was, was a fairly even game and... Um, Stockton's hit an absolute worldie, which he's done a number of times this season. So I was really pleased that we responded straight away and, and, and got the penalty again. Nibsey winning a foul in the attacking half with real quick feet and um, causing a problem and, and Joey putting the penalty away. So, so yeah, pleased that we managed to hold on. It was a difficult finish because they had lots of big attacking players loading the box up and we were a little bit tired and we've had players playing there that haven't played so much and then we've made quite a few changes which disrupts the rhythm. But overall, to come out with the result is, is excellent and it completes seven days where to take six points from nine out of that seven days is a brilliant return. Yeah, after Stockton scored that goal, like you say, it was probably important that we got that goal early because the way that the game was game was potentially looking with Morecambe desperate for the all three points, it could have been a more tricky ending. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think they're chasing those wins at the moment. So for us to get the next goal was important. And we also knew, you know, we, we had to change Sam Sherrin because he had a problem with his hip. So um, J Jack, I decided to change and I thought Dunks actually defended some brilliant moments at the end but I didn't want to push that so we've changed three of the back four going into the game and two of them during the game which took away some of our attacking subs you know I, I had Jack as an option today uh, Lancaster had Shiloh as an option which might have given us a counter-attacking threat when we were tiring a little bit we always wanted Wes in the game because we thought he could cause some problems around the box um, but having to make two changes in the back line meant we ended up a little bit deeper than perhaps we wanted to be but they were forcing the game and pushing it forward and you know what it's like when you see the opposition's goalie in the box and everything else you've just got to try and hang on uh, and we managed to do that defended really well so credit to the back four for that and and for the whole team I think it's been a tough tough week and at a time in the season where people might say there's nothing to play for we're, we're certainly playing like there is and I love that and um, up to a point we were in the top half so we're a bit frustrated that Cheltenham got the result but um, you know we, we know we've got some tough games but that's still possible so while it is we want to fight for it. A first league start for Lewis Simper and um, another for Liam Bennett how did you think those two in particular did? Very good yeah very good uh, Benno Every time he's played, he's been he's been really comfortable. Defends well. Um, people will try and target him because of his physical attributes on a diagonal, but he rarely gets out out fought or, or beaten because he's brave and tough and tenacious and gets himself in good positions. He's learning his game well. He's got lots to do to improve yet, but um, he's. he's made his mark really well in the games that he's played um, and Lewis Semper as well first first start for us in a league game I uh, thought he brought nice control wasn't flustered unflappable really in his temperament um, and it was it was a quite good game for him that it was allowed us to have the ball and try and search for passes and he made one or two little errors with the game but I think as his first as his first start and to get through 90 minutes very very pleased with him so yeah for both of those fantastic and Look really nice for Pelly to see both of those boys on the pitch. Certainly Simpa, he's, he's a boy that he's had since he was seven, eight years old, Tom Pell, and obviously he's, he's moving on soon. So a great day for the academy, but a great day for him personally as well. And I think that's 33 goals now between Joe and Sam. What's an outrageous <laughs> number really, isn't it? Very good, yeah. I mean, we, look, we've got to chip in with more around the, around the pitch. Nibsey's given us a real attacking threat around there in terms of creating chances and, and, and winning those moments, as does Wes and as does uh, Brofs. But we know we've got to add that from out the pitch but to to get both of those in in double figures and and Sam near in 20 with four games to go is a, is an outstanding return for both of them playing a full season here at this level um, so we're really pleased with them for that and ultimately really pleased with the outcome of the game because I think it's an important three points and we wanted to we wanted to take them I'm really happy with the players that they have they've got a few days off now um, which they can recover for and uh, then we'll have a couple of good working days going into what is going to be a very tough game next Saturday on, on the telly.
Yeah, I think it's about this time next week we'll be kicking off <laughs> on Sky Sports against Wigan. It's an exciting challenge for the players to look forward to. Yeah, look, they're on fire, aren't they? We saw how tough they are at the moment and it looks like they're storming the way to the title at the minute. So we've got to try and upset a party if we can. But I know what, what level they'll get to and no doubt being on the telly will give them a little bit of an extra edge and we want to do the same. But um, yeah, certainly a, a, an interesting one. Travel Good Friday. It's a long, it's a long time to wait till kickoff, but um, we'll try and make sure we're best prepared as we can and we know how well we'll have to play to compete with them so one to look forward to but right now it's nice to have a, a few down days they haven't had many of them so hopefully they can enjoy themselves and get ready to work again next week thank you thanks